Dear friends, we have entered the third day of Lenten season and today being Friday, we have the traditional practice to meditate on the suffering of Jesus by going through the way of the cross. For very many of us, it would be a practice, a prayer of the church. If we stay in that realm, we wouldn't be participating and benefiting. We would just go through a ritual. And very many of us are very particular about the ritual. If this is performed, that is performed. But through the ritual, if there is no transformation in me, I personally will discard the ritual. All the ritual, the church through the liturgy is helping us to turn to God. As a personal reflection, Take any one of the stations that caught your attention and meditate on them. Yes, the one that caught my attention today was Veronica braving the crowd coming out to wipe the face of Jesus. Yes, yes, she was rewarded and all, but more than that, she came to assist her master. My dear friends, and this I'm linking with what is happening in our parish today. It is the BEC day. And how am I giving myself to come out from my usual evenings to be with Jesus, to be able to pray in that community if the space permits, we have to still follow the SOPs. And am I willing to come? Yes, I see Christ in that neighbor of mine. And I'm coming to join in that. And it's only when we do in this then. Today's first reading, the context of this particular section on Isaiah, it is the Jewish people have come back from their exile. They are already in the, their own country, Judea. They are already starting to build their temple, their town. And these people came to realize we lost everything because of our sin. And in the process of building the temple, yes, rebuilding their town which was destroyed, what took their attention was, ah, we have to fast, we have to pray. And they became very meticulous. And that's where Isaiah comes up here and says, They ask me for laws, but are they just? They proclaim their faults to my people, but their sins are grievous. They fast, but never turn to do penance 
or to notice others' need. It's an exercise, and many of us may fall into that temptation, though today is not the day for fast. Wednesday was a good Friday. That little exercises that we are going to do, is it benefiting others? And we'll take the three things that are given, alms giving, prayer and fasting. In the alms giving, am I doing it because I see my neighbor suffering? I am coming to his need. That's what Veronica did. She saw Jesus suffering. The little she could do was to wipe out the sweat and maybe the blood from his face. They're reaching out to others. That coming together for the BEC meeting and gathering, it is, I see Christ in them and I'm coming. Yes, I'm a busy person, but I want to build the church. And, and when you fast, and if you are not helpful to others, if you are oppressing others, your fast is useless. Our fasting must relate with my relationship. Then he comes to the last part where he says, to let the oppressed grow free And am I forgiving the one who has hurt me by word or action or attitude? Yes, we have to take seriously. If not, we'll multiply. Oh, I'm fasting here, I'm doing that, I'm doing this and that. But if it doesn't transform me and through my fasting and prayer, do I break unjust fetters? Do undo the tongs of the yoke? Or let the oppressed grow free and break every yoke to share your bread with the hungry? and shelter the homeless. Yes, let us go beyond. Let us not be just ritualistic, but go out of it, just like Veronica went out of the crowd, brave enough to wipe the face of Jesus with onlookers and the soldiers, seeing what she is doing like that. We have to reach out to those who are in need. And it's only then we can be able to say yes. The last line here says, your integrity will go before you and the glory of the Lord behind you. Your integrity will go be before you and the glory of the Lord behind you. That's where you are one with Jesus. Let us ask God to help us to take this opportunity to turn to God and that, that turning makes our mind not just pure, but also our mind to be socially concerned for others.